Current level two, this uh, video will show you how to do your river cross sections for your Tongariro uh, coursework. Um, first of all, go to Schoology and go to uh, the level 2.5 research folder and then go down to the presenting data folder. In there are a number of files that are going to be of interest to you. Um, first of all, the river cross section spreadsheet. Click on it. <clears throat> And what you're going to do is you're going to download a copy of this. So if you go down to the bottom here, find the file and it will um, download here. Open it up. Uh, Excel will open. Give it a few seconds. And you're going to get this spreadsheet. Make sure you click enable editing um, and then file save a copy of this spreadsheet uh, into your resources. Once you've done that, um, you've got an interactive spreadsheet here that will produce your cross-section, river cross-sections for you. Uh, follow the instructions here. Um, essentially, it's uh, for the, in the yellow, in the yellow columns, you're gonna put your widths, your 10 widths. Remember, you measured the channel uh, width and divided it into 10 equal sections and put those uh, in there probably in uh, in centimeters or it might also be in meters as this one's been done in the green column put in your depth measurements probably in millimeters but you might have done this in centimeters okay and what you'll see is as you put that information in it creates a cross section for you all right so if I just copy, if I just cut that information out, paste it there for a sec. Um, actually, that didn't work, but don't worry about it. If I change it, you'll see that the one one of them will start, will, will change. If I change that value, you can see here that that, that, that changed. All right, so I'm gonna revert that back. So basically these are interactive. Once you've created those um, you can copy and paste them into the publisher document which I'll show you in a second so you've got one for uh, your for site one and one for site two and then underneath it you've actually got a really neat one that compares both of them together all right uh, and that, let me just repeat that the spreadsheet does that for you automatically so once you have got that you can right click and copy um, that into your publisher document the publisher document you will find back in the folder. Presenting data folder. It's a publisher document. And if you open up that one there, you will get a blank copy, again, which you save to your own resources and add to. Let me show you an example of what it will look like once you've done this. This is an example. It might take a little while to load up, so we'll see. Okay, so what you've got here, you'll have your, you'll have a map of Tongariro. There's another video to show you how to produce that map. Um, you can see here you've got your cross section for the for site uh, one, uh, the west side, and your cross section for site two, which is the east side. Okay, you'll notice down here is your is your graph that has both sites on, which will allow you to compare them. All right, there's another video that shows you how to do the velocity and discharge graphs, which you can see here as well. Also notice that I've color coded uh, the graphs depending on which side uh, they're on. This is something I'd recommend that you do also. Um, and that's it. Enjoy your data presentation.